What's up everybody? Horseman here and I want to let you know that this video is going to be a follow-up to Killer6's video about Enridium Farm. Now I do want you guys to know that you need to click away if you don't want any spoilers and do so now because this is very late game. We're talking chapter 21 out of 23. Okay, so you might see things that you don't want to see so click away now. All right, so if you're still here, you're going to go to Carnivora in this big open area where you uh, kind of tackle the pain and terror. And uh, But you're not going to go to the guts. You're going to go all the way over there to where I marked it on the map. And uh, there's a little hut in there where you got to slide in or crouch in. And there's some uh, Iridian notes there along with the red chest. Now, the awesome thing about this is that in Killer6's email, I keep saying email. In his video, uh, he says that you can farm loot out of that red chest. And uh, this video is, like I said, a follow-up to show that the red chest is no longer farmable. But the Iridium nodes, the Iridium nodes are. So they will be there. Ready Matter of fact, uh, you can't really see it in this video, but that one over there in the top left-hand corner, that one oftentimes spawns three times, so I'll hit it, it'll drop some Iridium, I'll hit it again, and then again. Uh, in this case, it did not, but I also uh, have a couple of, uh, including this one, uh, cycles that I did this for. Now, I'm getting roughly about 15 Iridium on normal, so keep that in mind, uh, because especially late game. I mean, you're talking, if you want to buy stuff from Crazy Earl, you're looking at an 800 or 700 some odd uh, cost in a good weapon from Crazy Earl. So uh, this could be a little time consuming. So uh, if you want to do this, great. If you want to spend the hour or two hours doing this, you know what? That's outstanding. There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it will take some time and it, I'm not the farming type of person. Although, loot tink farming was pretty fun. Anyway, so uh, like I said, this is just an update to that video. I will be posting his original video in the description below uh, because this will be a lot more helpful, like he said, when you get into the higher difficulty levels in Mayhem mode, Ultimate True Vault Hunter mode type thing. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, happy hunting, good luck, have fun with this game. I will talk to you later. Horseman out. Let's see what you hide. 